hi guys what's up and welcome to the video in today's video we're gonna be talking about the best skin for the season i'm talking about the best skin for season 3 if you're watching this video later on or in a different day the reason i wanted to make this video is some of you are maybe on the fence on which skin to buy um my idea my opinion is to buy the red silk I mean I had white dragon before and I recently got dynasty not sure if I'm pronouncing this right and I already got from the first season for year two which was uh, Aldorado I love that skin but after you know trying out different skins different types I really fell in love with red silk because not only it's bright, it's popping there. It's just so well made. The details are amazing. And I I don't think there is a gun that this particular skin does not look amazing with. I mean, as you can tell, part of it is gold, part of it is black. And part of it is that like velvety red type of material which which looks amazing honestly I mean every gun I put the skin on just looks amazing especially those little touches with the with the gold parts is just amazing so if you have some like if you have the renown if you don't get the season pass uh, I'm sorry if you get the renown even if you don't have the season pass with it like with the discount I suggest you get it uh, you already have like about five days until the new season kicks in so that's plenty of time to get 25,000 right now given that you have some right now left over or maybe even buy it on the store this skin will cost you about five bucks that's a really good skin and you can place it on a lot of guns basically everything and I really hate that you missed the opportunity on this gun it's really amazing I mean, I already have White Dragon. White Dragon is rather amazing, but the thing is, it's a bit plain. Although it's awesome, well made, the graphics on it is amazing, but I prefer Red Skin. I think it just uh, pops more. While Dynasty is like, meh, meh, it's not that, you know, it's not that amazing. So I'm gonna show you a few guns with this uh, particular skin so we have here a uh, box gun the c8 and it's just amazing i mean look at the details it's just oh my god this this weapon skin is it's by far one of the best weapon skins there is except for black eyes and uh, i'm gonna show you a thing i got in an alpha pack a few days ago actually not a few days ago a while ago this gun, I mean, this skin just looks amazing. Um, I almost use it on most, on all of my guns, and it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna show you what I got in an alpha pack, which is the black eyes. I mean, at, at first I thought this skin was a bit hyped, but after actually seeing this. Uh, Skin and the level of details and design is just amazing. I mean, look at this. So I was lucky enough to get uh, to get it for the MP45, which uh, is used by Castle and uh, Pulse. I normally don't play Pulse as much. Um, I don't know. I just don't like him. He's a fucking amazing operator. I just don't play. Him. So I usually play Castle, but this skin is just amazing. I mean, I wish we had a black hollow side, so it would be even more amazing, but nevertheless, this weapon skin is amazing. I hope I do get some more of it in, uh, in alpha packs, but who knows. Uh, so now guys, as a little bonus, I'm going to show you a few charms that I got uh, through challenges, alpha pack, etc. Uh, I thought that they were pretty cool. So a few days ago I got this 
charm which is Valkyrie's uh, cam charm looks pretty good I mean it's simple it's beautiful it's big it's not too big it's not too small actually I like it this is going to be my go-to charm to put on a Valkyrie I also got a dog chibi I don't really use this uh, chibi as much since I got the original like the original 20 icon charms for the original 20 operator so I use that my main concern with the these new charms is for the DLC operators so I use this uh, frost chibi which I got also for the uh, alpha pack on frost mainly because she does not really have an her particular charm so it works well with, with her gun I also got with the season packs I got the season packs uh, the, um, sorry the season pass uh, a few days ago I know it's a bit late in the season but I mean I had a few bucks and thought what the hell I think it re looks really good yeah I'm surprised it's actually quite decent I also got let's see what I got mm. I got this one as well when I got a season pass. Is it this one? I'm not sure. Oh, I got this one. I, I think I think it's a bit of a dumb charm, but I got this one through an alpha pack as well. I got this charm uh, via alpha packs as well, and it translates literally into on your enemy. So it's pretty cool. I know. Uh, I actually bought this one. Oh, I got this one as well, Knight's Helmet, and for a legendary, it kind of sucked, you know. I mean, it's a stupid uh, charm. Uh, it's I think it's related about the game that Ubisoft released. I don't even remember its name. I think it's called Knights or something like that, and it was just a big ass this one. Now, one of the most amazing charms I got this season via uh, challenges is the. Halloween uh, charm. I think this charm looks amazing. Not only it does not sing, uh, like suggest Halloween theme, it's just the details, the simplicity of it, just all scream out a good charm. And tro tro I mean, it looks really good on almost every gun. So I suggest that you use that if you don't. And if you did not get this charm through the challenges well i hope that you get it through the alpha pack so guys that's it for today's episode and i actually wanted to make a video like this because i'm a while back i made a video saying uh, like showing you all my original charms as well as the best weapon skins at that time so thanks to you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye guys